Good morning and welcome to Rocket Travels. If you've not watched my channel before, uh, working class lad from uh, Rushton in Northamptonshire, uh, retiring to Thailand, uh, full time traveller potentially in retirement, um, living the dream. Uh, love adventures, love exploring. Today we're doing an abandonment. Uh, I've done abandonments before. Uh, please don't ask for the location of any of uh, my visits to abandonments. Uh, they're not tourist attractions. Um, you wouldn't like it anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're doing uh, we're doing abandonment today. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go and check it out, man. Right, we're about 30 minutes outside of where I live in Hua Hin. It's just starting to rain. Never mind. Um, that's not a bad thing, actually. Yeah, this is uh, my view. It is, by the looks of it, where everybody dumps. It's a bit of fly tipping, basically. A lot of fly tipping. <laughs> there is, over here, a big termite mound. Right, yeah, there's a termite mound just there. Look at that, spectacular. I've mentioned before about termites, I don't know too much about them. Something I need to look into. Anyway, let's go back to the job in hand. This is, I am as usual, with my abandonment little projects. Uh, a little bit nervous coming down here. Um, the usual worries, dogs. Um, I have been to this area, um, I came to the area yesterday just to have a look around, checking it out. Uh, there is no security or any restrictions, uh, the building is open uh, to the elements. And basically, uh, yeah, I can hear gunshots in the distance man. I don't think they're uh, around this abandonment. You're going to see the abandonment very shortly. But there is a, a lot of the tracks through this area. It's early on a Sunday morning. Uh, the abandonment is poking its head up over there. Right, I'm not sure which way we are going. Right, let's have a little look down here. You will see that is not the way. We're going to take a quick look at where we're going today. Um, I'm not, I've got absolutely no information on this abandonment. Um, from what I can sort of work out, it's possibly uh, an abandoned project of uh, condominiums, apartments. Uh, but this is where we're going. We're going in there. I just need to find a route in there. Uh, I'm not going to go that route. Um, at the back of the back of that part there that access to the abandonment there is uh people living the other side it does smell very what's the smell in here it's like there is a lot of paraphernalia of burning uh, there is a little place up here where they've been burning um wood not 100 percent sure uh, why they're burning the wood. I've got an idea, um, but I'm not going to go <laughs> try attempt to explain uh, why I think they're burning the wood. Um, but there is an awful smell of burning in here. Uh, from what I can gather, uh, there isn't much human activity around here. Like I say, I have taken a little look, uh, basically checking out everything's doable you know there is a little place here i come across this yesterday uh, they're burning burning wood in a big pit what are they doing making that for charcoal or something not 100 percent sure but they're uh, producing something something there but uh, there's nobody there's nobody about i can hear a motorbike which way am I going to go? You can probably see the abandonment over here. Let's see if we can access it. 
down here. Okay, we are in. There you go. Check these bad boys out. Right, I'm gonna have to. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Not sure what I got to do. Try and find access in there. Uh, the project is completely abandoned. Huge, great big project. Hundreds and hundreds of apartments, condominiums, condominiums, condos. <laughs> Look at this place. Wow. Totally. The trouble with, uh, oh, what was that? I'm oh, getting spooked again already. Oh man. Right, we're up and in. This is just being left to rot. Wow, should we just go in this building? The trouble with a lot of these buildings, there's a lot of them around Thailand and uh, they're just left to rot. It's gonna take a long time for this concrete to rot. But uh, yeah, they just leave them. They don't like demolish them, remove them, clean them up. Look at this. Wow, how many floors? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight floors and they haven't finished it. Uh, you can see the steel work. Um, yeah, they've probably been higher. Wow. <laughs> oh my word, look at the length in there, man. Right, we're gonna have a little look around this one first before we go and look at the other ones. There are some, uh, the back of, the back end, uh, over there, there are some finished condominiums. Um, so I'm going to basically stick to this area to do my main filming and we might wander over there. Look at this place, man. Wow. <laughs> there are, in this area, it's just north of uh, Hua Hin, there are a lot of abandoned buildings, projects. Um, I had a look, little look around yesterday and there is a lot. There are also a lot of finished projects, but they, even they look empty. I'd look at one yesterday and um, it just didn't, it was totally dead. There was no cars, no bikes, all finished, but nobody, uh, nobody living there. I should imagine this would have been the lift. So there you go, if I stand back. Yeah, that would have been the lift, the lift shaft. We're on the ground floor at the moment. That is full of water. So we're definitely, definitely not going too close to that. Let's have a little look what's up there. Whoa, yeah, definitely a lift shaft. Yeah, be really, <laughs> I'm telling myself, tell everyone else to be careful, but be careful myself. Right, we've got some stairs. Wow, do you reckon we can access the roof? All bags of cement down there. Wow, look at the floor. It's like... It is very, very deserted. Right, we're going to see if we can get on the roof. Right, we're about four, four or five floors up. I know the stairs have run out. I've took my shades off so I can see where I'm going. Whether there's any further access, further up, possibly. This is as far as you go by, by the steps, and then you make the rest of your journey by lift. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm not that scared of heights, but looking back down there, wow, that is pretty serious. Oh, it's such a shame you can't access the roof. A little bit nervous about the, uh, I can hear guns firing in the background. Probably farmers in the countryside. It doesn't look like there's any access to the roof. The stairs finished there. Let's have a little look. I've got to be so careful here. Vlogging, watching where I'm putting my feet. Uh, I'm not too sure whether that would have been it would have been, it would have been carried on. They just haven't finished it. Yeah, it's just like, 
there would have been access to the roof well <laughs> I'm just wondering whether we can access the the roof the higher levels from one of the other one other one of the other buildings wow these places I don't know what it what my fascination with uh, abandonments is I think I just like the feel that somebody was here building all this look at that for a view my voice is echoing a bit yeah just people were here building this place I should imagine people were building their hopes up to live here um, yeah and what would be you know if they'd have finished this project who would have been living here now I have to be so careful right easy 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 right yeah I think a lot there is no way of accessing the top floors see over there in the in the distance there is finished condominiums so I'd imagine uh, we're going to show actually what we'll do at the end is we'll go over there and we'll show you uh, what this place would have looked like uh, finished it's a shame I can't get up on the roof man but uh, views uh, depends on which apartment you would have had see they've got all the, the plumbing pipes in for the drainage definitely uh, now I'm in it definitely condominiums uh, with your lift your stairs and then this these areas here would have been all the apartments right let's go over to this edge again very very carefully well wow. see there's another another building there that's only on a uh, ground level um, how high that would have gone and what, what, what it would have been it's actually a really really nice design I can hear somebody right somebody has clocked me so uh and I can hear a dog as well do you know what he's watching me I'm gonna watch him yeah they have someone has a dog there is a dog <laughs> I can't see a dog coming up here yeah it's just some guy having a smoke with a dog maybe security I don't know there are no signs there's no uh there's no um there's nothing saying no entry you know do not enter here where's the guy going actually the yeah i'm hiding behind the post <laughs> right i am hot footing it out of here there are dogs in here uh they've just clocked me um they're not following me uh, yeah, but they clocked me, man. And I've been down here yesterday. I saw a group of seven dogs attack a uh, single dog. So um, we've, 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 uh, we've got away with accessing a little bit of the building. Uh, yeah, but some oh, there's dogs everywhere, man. Oh man, I've got to get out of here. There are dogs everywhere. All right, I'm getting out of dodge. Right, Jesus man, the dog's in there. I see two up the top end. Uh, they didn't follow me. And as I've come down to this section here, yeah, I've, I'm getting right out of here, man. I mean, look around you. It's got Dog Central written all over it. There's a massive pack of dogs, uh, I guess. Seven, eight, probably nine, a lot of dogs. And uh, yeah, as soon as they saw me, they all got up, tails up. Uh, so two or three of them started uh, barking. Uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, Captain Sensible here, getting out of dodge. Right, so uh, we're going to add to this vlog because I was hoping to explore uh, that abandonment a little bit more. You've got a little bit of an idea for, of it. I do have my drone with me. Uh, we're going to fly the drone over the area so we can add some drone footage and then um, because uh, it's going to be a short vlog because of the dogs um, we're going to go down to the beach and maybe have some breakfast or a nice cold drink and uh, it's uh, yeah we'll do we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of an add-on
Oh, blimey, those dogs. I mean, sometimes you see these dogs, they're friendly and they're cool. But uh, yeah, when they're in an abandonment like that, they're going to be very, very territorial. That's something I'm learning about dogs in Thailand. Uh, when, when they're away, when, when they're around buildings and hotels, like we've got soy dogs, a uh, little pack of soy dogs, about five of them live where, uh, where we live. And they're fine. I chuck them your biscuit now and then. One trots up by soy. And um, yeah, they're quite, uh, quite timid, to be quite honest. But these ones don't look timid. So uh, yeah, <laughs> my selfie stick, I turned my GoPro upside down. And um, yeah, your selfie stick uh, doubles up as a kosh. But yeah, I'm out, so I'm out safe. It's a shame, I'd like to have uh, explored that a little bit more. Maybe got up on the roof, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. So sometimes <laughs> it don't work out. Darn dogs, man, Scooby-Doo's. Yeah, they weren't Scooby-Doo's. They were the dogs from hell. <laughs> anyway, we fly the drone. lucky day guys um, I was gonna go to the beach but there is another abandonment that I've seen just down the road from the last one uh, because I couldn't do too much uh, with the other one because the dogs um, yeah I've come down to this one <laughs> you lucky people showing you all the best sights of Hua Hin actually we're not in Hua Hin we're in uh, we're up near Shut Arm exact locations I do not know I do not even know what this building was I come across it the other day it's some kind of restaurant eatery Wow the locals have been in here and stripped the place well wow, it's all sorts in here man uh, yeah it looks like it used to be like a coffee shop or something they still have the menu in here look at that how old's that menu? It doesn't actually look that old considering the prices. <laughs> it's called um, Alpaca Sha'am, Petrobury. So you go, this place was called Alpaca. All sorts of, uh, what's in there? What is that? Straws. 
all sorts of potions, look. God knows what is in there. My God. But, uh, so, uh, yeah, little, <laughs> little upstairs area. They also have a play area. Doesn't seem to be anyone around and it's all open. Let's take a little look around. Everything's been stripped. Copper maybe. They've been stripping everything. Yeah, children's play area. Smells a bit musky in here. Whoa, very musky. Yeah, I can't see any kids coming down here to play. <laughs> I should imagine, back in the day, this was quite a nice little area. There is a great big building here. Check this out. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Now yeah, look, table, table number 22, please. What is in there? What are these? I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't see. Uh, it's got alpaca on there, what it is inside there, I do not know. Look at this place. What would have been in here? Little, sh little shops, like a little shopping precinct, little stores in here, restaurant, children's play area. <laughs> wow, look at these lampshades, man. What's up in there? There are lights. Maybe, actually, maybe there was a table here or something. Because they're very low. Wow. <laughs> oh my word. You lucky people. Two abandonments in one day. These big, uh, big lampshade things with uh, fish on them. <laughs> I hope to God there's nobody in here. Look at this more. Oh, bloody hell. Look at these bottles, man. Check out this room, look. Wow. There's a picture. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I'm scared of everything in these places, man. There's a big alpaca on the wall there. Look at this place, man. Wow. If I don't talk, it's very, very quiet. Check out these racks of, what is in there? Booze of some sort? No idea. Have yeah, that look the little uh when they uh, give you the bill. <laughs> yeah, give you the bill, sir. Let's have a little look. They got like some kind of some kind of counter bar there. Wow, check this place out man. Big doors. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're still open. The whole place is uh open. Left to the elements. I'm surprised no one has taken it over. Oh, what was that? It's just the wind. <laughs> Last time I'd done the bandment, I was scared of the birds. Now I'm scared of the wind. I'm not that scared, I'm just joking to be quite honest. But uh, yeah. Big, big car park at the back. And there you go. Someone would have sat here. And uh, it's a lot, a lot of, a lot of rubbish. The guys have been in here stripping everything electrical. Oh, what was that? Look at that. I've been a little bit quiet, so I keep hearing things. <laughs> if someone comes along, what am I going to say? I'll just use the toilet. There are some toilets here. There you go. Look, female toilets in there. Look at this area here. Little hatches. Tracking they're open. Oh, they are, look. Oh, wow. I can't lift that. Let's go and have a look. They do have toilets. Should have a look in. No one living in the bloody toilet, is there? Wow, you rhinos. Oh, look at the spiders. Full of bloody spiders, man. Do not smoke in the toilets. Wow, look at that. Wow, have you seen that film train spotting? Look at that. Wow, someone's been using it. <laughs> someone's been using the toilets in here. 
Should put the light on. <laughs> there are no lights. Right, let's have a look in here. Wow, look at this big room here, look. Wow. What's going on in here? It's a bit dark. I have to go probably pick this up. What's this, look? Something would have been in here. Bottles. There's no kettle. More coffee, more drinks. Some, uh, Oh, I keep hearing things. Black label on the floor there, look. Yeah, drinks. Some shoes down there. <laughs> it's not open, look at that, look. Whoa! Oh, can I just lift that? Ooh. <laughs> I promise you guys, I'll be showing you something nice next time, like the beach. Loads of air conditioning, old air conditioning units up there. Look at that. This must be like, oh sh sugar. This must be the cooking area. Look all the all the all the hoods here, look. All the grills up there. So they've been cooking, actually you can smell fat. So yeah, this area would have been a big, big cooking area. They've been cooking all the food in here. Wow. I'm surprised there's no evidence of someone sleeping in here. Sometimes these buildings you do find people have, uh, yeah, have accommodated it. <laughs> wow. Here you have a barbecue. Yeah, that don't, that don't work. <laughs> yeah, I promise you, you guys uh, that follow my channel, Next time, I'm going to show you like a beach or a nice view. Yeah, I'm not going to do make a habit of doing these abandonments, but uh, they just fascinate me. Look at this area here. Wow, look at this building in there, man. What's in that? A little notebook. It's like a little receipt book. So look in this room here. Oh my word, look at that. I am not actually going to go in there. That's got rats written all over it. Should we go in? What do you reckon? Rat infested, abandoned restaurant. Let's go in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, oh, yeah. There are actually, I was joking about the rats, but uh, I can see paraphernalia of rats. So we're getting out of, out of dodge there. <laughs> By the way, it's, oh, stink man. God, you keep going past. I was just about to say what a lovely day it was, and then I just got hit this massive bad smell, man. I suppose these would have been seating areas. Yeah, seating area there. Crocodiles in there. I'm only joking. Well, am I joking? There is a YouTuber that I follow. He went to an abandoned zoo in Phuket and they still had crocodiles in the abandoned zoo in the pit man. Yeah. Look at that. I can't see any crocodiles here. They do have. What's this? Fruit. That's a fruit that is. Is it coconut? No, it's not a coconut, is it? Some kind of fruit. What do you reckon? Should we take one home? Take one home home for the boss. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I might take one home home for the boss. It's, I think it's some kind of fruit. I'll take it home, chop it up and see what's inside. So there you go. Superb. And I was joking earlier on about needing the toilet. I do actually need the toilet. But I'm not going to use them. I'm going to find a little bush. Because uh, those toilets look like something out of that film, Train Spotting. Ewan McGregor, was that his name? Yeah. Choose life. Choose abandoned buildings in uh, Petrobury, Shaam. Yeah, I'm well out of uh, This This abandonment, it's on the main road. It's not like it's going to be uh, some kind of secret. Not that anybody would uh, want to come and visit 
this place. But the other place, if anybody works out where the first abandonment was, I suggest you don't go there because the dogs, um, I'm streetwise with the dogs. I've been coming to Thailand 20 odd years, 23 years. Uh, yeah, if I see dogs, walk away. Um, don't run. If you run, they'll bloody chase you, man. Anyway, we're done for the day. Um, hard day at the office. Let me sit up straight, man. <laughs> yeah, I've been busy with my channel today. Uh, been at it hours. Um, it might be like a 20, 30 minute clip, but yeah, there's a lot. Of, quite a few hours goes into making them. And uh, you have to cut out all my silly hammer. And just keep the good bits. <laughs> anyway, I've come down um, one of the soys off the main road, highway number four, in between uh, Sha'am and um, Huahin. And I've just come across this lovely, lovely little beachside restaurant. And I am having a very, very cheeky Chang. Chang on the rocks. And look at my view. Look at that. Not a soul in sight. Not even Scooby Doo. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The Gulf of Thailand. Did you know that? If you didn't, you do now. Uh, okay, I'm done. Uh, cheers. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Oh, that is beautiful. I might just make a vlog one day, just me on the beach. Look at it. Got me on the beach drinking Chang for 30 minutes. <laughs> anyway, over and out. See you all next time, man. Peace.